Douglas means that for ADU projects, what are your options? In this video, we will go over two common designs for ADUs and go over the different options that you have for HVAC. We will start with two pre-approved ADU plans from San Diego County. Since most ADUs are around 800 square feet, your ADU may be very similar to these designs. We will look at the general layout, options, and our rationale. You should be able to use our process to determine the right HVAC system for your ADU. For most ADUs, we will be using ductless mini slits. We don't recommend a traditional central air conditioner for an ADU because ductwork is expensive to run and it takes up more space in the attic. Most ADUs would like to have the floor to ceiling height to be as tall as possible to give the illusion that the space is much bigger than 800 square feet. The more attic space you take up, the more money you need to pay for, for materials and space that you cannot use. In the first plan, we see a two bedroom, two bath ADU with a living room and kitchen. Technically, we only need to have a heating source in the living room. So installing just one unit in the living room is the least expensive option. Based on the design and the layout, here are your options for this ADU. Number one, one 18,000 BTU mini slit in the living room, either the high wall or ceiling cassette. Number two, a three zone high wall means the system. In this case, we'll use a 9,000 BTU for the bedrooms, and then we'll use a 12,000 BTU for the living room. So it'll be a 9, 9, 12 combination. Number three, a three zone meaning slit system. S same thing is gonna be 9, 9, 12. For the bedroom, we will use the high wall units, and for the living room, we'll use a ceiling cassette. With the multi zone meaning slit, you can combine the ceiling cassette with the high wall unit. In this case, we wanna keep the bedrooms with a high wall because they're the most economical. And we're going to use a ceiling cassette for the living room because that's where your guests are going to be. A. The first option is the least expensive. This option should cost between $3,000 and $6,000 depending on the system that you use. You will have one larger unit in the living room. And since the space is quite small, you can open up the doors in the bedroom and get cool air as well as heat inside the bedrooms. The one downside of this approach is that it's going to limit privacy and it's not ideal if the ADU will be used by more than one person. Option two is the most common option. Here, we will use a three-zone mini split. Typically, we will use either Daikin, Fujitsu, or Mitsubishi, as they make some of the most reliable products on the market. In 2021, the cost should be between $10,000 and $12,000 total for a three-zone system. The third option is a combination of a high wall and ceiling cassette units. Most people will only have guests in the living room and want to make that space as beautiful as possible. As a result, many of our customers choose to have a ceiling cassette in the living room and a high wall units in each bedroom. This option will range between $15,000 and $12,000. Let's take a look at the second floor plan. For the second floor plan, you will notice that although the layout is different than the first one, you still have the same three options for your mini slits. The layout does not really affect your choices much since we are mostly concerned about the sizes of each room and the zones for each mini slit. Most ADUs either have a, a studio, a single bedroom that's, that's separate from the living room, or they're gonna have a two bedroom. And the two bedroom configuration is the most common. In this situation, we see that it's two bedrooms and the layout, even though it's different, it's still the same um, square footage and the rooms are relatively the same size. For your ADU projects, here are a few things to consider ahead of time. Number one, what are your setbacks? This determines where you can place your condenser. Every city has its own setback requirements, so be sure to check with them before installing your air conditioner. Number two, phase of when to bring in the HVAC contractor. For new construction projects, you should involve the HVAC contractor right when framing and roofing is completed. Your major trades, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, to do the work inside the walls and ceiling before you close up the drywall. This phase is called rough-in. You should involve the HVAC contractor early since there may be lead times in acquiring the equipment and materials necessary for the project. Your HVAC contractor will work in two phases. In the rough-in phase, they will install the indoor units, 
run the copper line sets, and run the electrical and wire lines. After you have completed the exterior stucco, your HVAC contractor will install the outdoor condenser unit and start up the system. It is important to communicate with your MEP trades so that there is a smooth transition between the work and so that your project can move as fast as possible. As you can see, most two bedroom ADU projects generally have three options for meeting split. One, 18,000 BTU meeting split in the living room, either a high wall or ceiling cassette. So depending on the brand and depending on which type you're choosing, you're looking at between $3,000 and $6,000 um, all in. Number two, a three zone high wall meeting split, a 9912. So this is gonna range between $10,000 and $12,000. Number three, a three zone meeting split, 9912. But for the bedrooms, we're gonna be using the high wall units in the living room, we're gonna be using a ceiling cassette. So you can, you're expecting to spend between $12,000 and $15,000 for your HVAC for this option. As a bonus, we also give you the most common means of configuration for a garage conversion. Half of the ADUs that we work with are garage conversions. Most garage conversions are around 400 square feet. In these cases, you would use a 12,000 BTU high wall mini split. The cost of these systems range from $2,500 to $4,000, including installation. Overall, a garage conversion typically leads to the creation of a large studio. Since the space is open, you would only need one mini split for the whole entire space. If you have any questions regarding the mini splits for ADU projects that we did not already cover in this video, please feel free to write them in the comment section below. We are happy to answer any and all, and all your questions. We hope that this video has helped you understand your options for your ADU. If you are located in Southern California or Northern California and need a reliable HVAC contractor, consider working with DEER. We have retail locations in Orange County, California and San Jose, California. Our team is happy to help you through your ADU projects. You can visit any of our retail locations and talk to our team members or give us a call seven days a week. Thank you and take care. <music>